it gets powerful. Verse 12, every single person, listen to me, every single woman, every single man, listen to me, that's wanting to honor Christ. Now listen to this preacher. You have only two options if you're single and, you're, and you've got a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend. You have two options. Number one, you can honor God together while you're single and wait until marriage to be intimate. You can honor God together. Everybody say, honor God together. The only other option that you have is to sin together. That's it, period. Honor God together, sin together. That's it. There's no middle ground, nowhere else. Well, why does it matter? Well, let me just tell you this. If you're living with someone and you're not married to them, number one, you have a 45%, latest statistics, 45% more chance of getting divorced if you live with someone before you marry them than if you don't. If you don't sleep with them before you marry them, you have a 45% greater chance of staying together. That's significant. What a lie the world is telling you. Move in and try it out and play house and see how it goes. And then if things work out, get married. What a lie. You either sin together or honor God together. And here's why it's, why it's important. Because that's what you build the foundation of your marriage on. Did we honor God together or did we sin together? Well, pastor, I need to get married so I can, so I can be faithful because I can't be faithful right now. If you can't be faithful while you're single, you won't be able to be faithful when you get married. And if you can't abstain while you're single, you won't be able to change anything when you get married. That's why you're building your marriage on the foundation of either honoring God together are sinning together. It's that simple. And listen to this. She, he, he praises her and he says in verse 12, listen to this, what he says about her. I want the single girls and college girls and high school girls and, 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 and the women that are here that, that are single. He says to her, his wife, you are, what a compliment, a garden enclosed, my spouse. You are a spring shut up. You are a fountain sealed. In other words, I love the fact that you're sexually pure. You are a garden enclosed. You are a spring shut up. You're not sleeping around. You're not sleeping with multiple people. You are sexually pure, and I love that. Wonder, wonder, you can't go back if you've made mistakes, but starting here, starting right now, every single person under the sound of my voice here, Gwinnett, watching by television, wherever you are, Spartanburg, Orange County, wherever you are listening to me, if you're single, the word of the Lord to you is, will you be on your wedding night from this day forward a garden enclosed? A spring, and it's not just for the girls, it's for the guys too. We don't get some free pass to do whatever we want to do because we're a guy. God's standard is absolute for males and females and any other gender that you are to honor God and present your body as a living sacrifice. Say amen, somebody.